how do I know if I have a concussion? Hello and welcome to our channel. I'm Dr. Cameron Marshall, aka Concussion Doc, and I'm here to help you better understand concussion injuries. In this video, I'm going to cover the question, how do I know if I have a concussion? Maybe you just got hit in the head and you're now on Google trying to figure out whether or not it is a concussion or isn't a concussion. Well, this video is part of our video series. It's the third one and it's designed specifically to help concussion patients to optimize your recovery and help you to heal your brain for good. So whether you've just literally had a concussion now or you've had a concussion a long time ago and you're trying to figure out how to get better and you're still suffering with symptoms, this video series is going to help you to understand why so that you can put the right steps in place to fix it and you can fix a concussion, contrary to popular belief. So if you are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe to this video, give it a good old thumbs up, and leave any comments or questions that you have down in the discussion below. I love having discussions with you guys, trying to help you to navigate this crazy world of concussion. And if there's something you'd like to see, just let me know, a topic you'd like covered. And if you know someone else that would benefit from this content, please be sure to share it with them because sharing is caring and knowledge is power. So if you're struggling with concussion symptoms and you want to get some help, we also have some links below in the description to various resources and other things that are there to help you in your recovery. I frequently host live webinars and we discuss various topics and we also have helpful tools and links down in the description below. So please do take advantage of that. So on with the video. So here you are, you just got hit in the head, or maybe you got hit months ago, but is it, is it a concussion? And how do you know? Well, let's dive in. This one is going to be a pretty short video because it's actually super easy to figure this out. Now, easy maybe isn't the right word, but it's a simple strategy to identify whether or not you've had a concussion before. There's two things that you must meet in order to have a concussion diagnosis. And this is something that healthcare professionals will use as well. The two things you need are, one, a mechanism of injury. Mechanism of injury purely purely means acceleration or deceleration in the, of the head. Now, in our previous videos, we covered what is a concussion and we covered how much force it takes to have a concussion. So if you haven't watched those videos yet, click on the link that we've put up right here and go back to the first video to watch what is a concussion so that you have an understanding of what this does to the brain. So getting back now to how do I know if I have a concussion? Well, the first thing you need is a mechanism of injury. And for those that have watched the previous videos, you'll understand that that mechanism of injury is acceleration. So sometimes you might have got hit right in the head because that can cause acceleration, deceleration of your head. Sometimes you can get hit in the body or have a fall or a whiplash type mechanism of the head and neck, and that can cause acceleration and deceleration of the brain inside the skull. So that is what's known as a mechanism of injury. There needs to be some sort of acceleration to the head to have a concussion. So that's step one. If you have that, check mark. Number two, you have to have one or more, but you only need one, concussion-like symptom. And it usually happens right immediately after impact or within a few hours after impact. That's typical. Sometimes it can evolve over hours to days later, but for the most part, it should be fairly immediate. The majority of cases are going to get hit and have an immediate onset of symptoms. Rarely you might get hit and then have symptoms minutes, hours, or even maybe a day or two later that is still considered concussion. So you have two things, mechanism of injury and one or more symptoms. And you only need to have one. If you get hit and you feel dizzy, that's enough technically to diagnose concussion. If you get hit and you feel a headache, you feel nauseous, you feel blurred in your vision, you feel off balance, you feel like you can't concentrate, all of those could be indication of a concussion injury. And that technically meets the diagnostic criteria. So how do I know I have a concussion? Well, I got hit, yes, and I had some symptoms. That could be a concussion, yes. That meets the diagnostic criteria. Now, what are the symptoms of concussion? Well, if you look up something called the SCAT tool, which is the Support Concussion Assessment tool, you'll see that there's a list of 22 main symptoms 
that can be uh, uh, ind indicative of a concussion. And what you'll see here is they're very non-specific. So headache, there's a lot of things that can cause headache. But if the headache is as the result of a impact to the head, then we have to be considering concussion injury. So headache, pressure in the head, neck pain, nauseousness or vomiting, dizziness, blurred vision, balance problems, sensitivity to light, sensitivity to noise, feeling slowed down, feelings of being in a fog or fogginess, not feeling right or not feeling like yourself, difficulty concentrating, difficulty remembering, fatigue or low energy, confusion, drowsiness, more emotional, um, irritability, sadness, nervous or anxious, trouble falling asleep. So there's 22 symptoms. Typically, we rate this from zero being none at all. I'm not experiencing that symptom all the way to six, which is uh, very severe. So zero to six is the rating scale. Total score for the symptom severity score is out of 132. Like I said before, in order to have a diagnosis of concussion, we only need to have one symptom mechanism of injury. And one of these symptoms is you should have a high degree of suspicion for concussion and find some healthcare professional who has knowledge and training in concussion. Uh, if you need to find a clinic, go to clinics.completeconcussions.com and that'll find all the clinics in your area that are certified in uh, concussion management through through complete concussions. Uh, so basically, yeah, that that's it. So what do you do? If you've had a concussion now, that is on to the next videos. So in the next videos, we're going to talk about what do we do if we've had a concussion and it changes depending on how long ago the concussion was. If the concussion was minutes to hours to a couple days ago, you'll have a different uh, set of rules or guidelines you'll want to follow versus if the concussion was, you know, three, four months ago to years ago, you have a different set of guidelines to follow. So what do you do after your concussion? Well, it depends on where you're at. If it's early on, we'll tell you what to do. And if it's later on, we'll tell you what to do. And that's basically it. So if you had a hit and you feel these symptoms, time to check in with your healthcare provider or find a concussion clinic to help you navigate how to do this or stick around for the next video and we'll give you kind of some tips on how to do this. As mentioned before, please be sure to like, subscribe and all that fun stuff. Share this video if you think other people will benefit from it. Go back and watch previous videos to get up to speed on everything and make sure you stay tuned, hit the notification bell so that you can get notified when we release the next video, which is all about what to do in the event that you get a concussion. Be sure to check out the links in the description so that you can benefit from some of the tools and tips that we have available to concussion patients. And I will see you on the next video.